Welcome to Be Health, presented by the Southeastern Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. My name is Dr. Jennifer Sankey, and I want to ask you a question. Did you know that the detection of breast cancer is in your hands? Today, we are celebrating a wonderful day here at the office. One of our own workers, Kathleen Williams, is a survivor of breast cancer. Kathleen is one of our favorite, one of our favorite workers here. She actually is an administrative assistant of stewardship as well as for communications. And I've actually claimed her as my own also. So welcome, Kathleen. Thank you, Mr. We are so glad that you're here. I would love for you to tell our audience your story about the detection of breast cancer was in your hands. Well, in 1995, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, a very aggressive breast cancer. Um, I was very young. I had just turned 26 or 27. It's been a while. Um, and I had two babies, six and seven. So it was a shocker for me. Um, I had had a, um, a checkup in January of that year. My checkup was fine. However, in March, while I was showering, I felt a immovable lump in my left breast and um i you know interested <laughs> and i went to the doctor and the doctor said to me well we're going to do a, a needle aspiration and see what's going on and he did the aspiration and a few days later he called to say you know you need to get into my office as quickly as possible and uh, we went into his office, and that was on a Tuesday. And by the following Monday, I had a double mastectomy. At age 26, uh, like I said, I don't know, 26 or 27, but it was in that area. Um, and um, it was a shocker because young woman, two babies, not married, or uh, single, and Hearing the word cancer, I automatically saw not surviving. You know, back in those days, it was known as the killer, the big C. Yeah. But um, God has been good. And I see the journey that he has brought me on. And I understand that he has a purpose for me, Miss Jen. And um, he has worked with me all through from there straight till now. I can see the journey very clearly. Um, for instance, when I moved to this country, I had no, no indication that I would have to raise kids from a lady, from a mother who was diagnosed and died from the same disease that I have survived. So I, I saw God in that process. Breast cancer is 100% curable. I know that if you get, get it early, I was a stage three, but it was aggressive because of the hormones and because of my age. Um, if you get, you know, get it early, you can't survive. I'm 28 years and God has been good. We are celebrating with you today, mm -hmm. Kathleen. We're so excited that God has spared your life and then you're able to share your story with others about no matter how old or how young you may be, that you really should be doing those self-rest exams because you had just had a, um, a, a physical. Physical. Mm -hmm. Two months later, you receive a diagnosis. I sure did. And so again, it's really up to us to use our hands every month to check our breast. I mean, after all, we take a shower every day. We do. Our hands are there anyway, just check and see if there's anything. So I know you shared the journey, but there must have been some parts that might have been a little difficult for you. There was. Um, I, the, the, hearing the cancer diagnosis was difficult in itself. Um, having to surrender or get my life in order or get my household in order to for someone to take care of my own kids. You know, I bargained with the Lord, you know, really that you give me these kids for somebody else to raise them. And um, I truly believe it's after surrendering the situation to God that he really had mercy. 
the the other um part that was hard for me was knowing there was a possibility that I would never get married because the stigma that comes with it but I am a happily married woman <laughs> of 13 years to a wonderful man love him to death so it can happen it can ha even after you've gone through so much God can provide that right person for you Kathleen, I'm so inspired by your story. I am. I mean, to think that you talked to God about what you were going through. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the scripture that comes to my mind is trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, not part of it. Mm -hmm. Lean not to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him, even through this, and he will direct your path. He sure has. And he's sure. led you here. <clears throat> 28 years later, you are now here and we're celebrating with you. When I saw all those flowers and candy on your desk today, I knew there was today was a special day. It was. I've got even, I've got a lot of flowers even from my ex-boss and my, and where I'm from. So, um, but Miss Jan, even at this point, I feel he's pushing me to move further. I don't know what it is yet. Um, I do know that he was pushing me to start a breast cancer awareness fund for this conference. Yes. Because we know that black women or um, African American women and Hispanic women especially are more, they're diagnosed more and it is very aggressive. And uh, having a fund to help in whatever way we can from this conference is a big deal. So I feel that's a part of why he still has me here and what, whatever else he calls me to do, what, if it relates to breast cancer, whatever else it relates to, I am here. We know Kathleen, the one thing that makes heart warms my heart, many things of course, but I know you're in the community and you promote breast cancer awareness. You have good different speaking engagements at different places. But I remember when I came here back in August of last year, and as we were moving up close to October, we talked about breast cancer awareness here in the office and we talked about it, but we both realized that we didn't want to do it just once a year. Right. We wanted to make sure that we would share it throughout the year because there's always women that are being diagnosed with breast cancer every day within our conference. And so this Be Health that we've started and we share this, we founded it together. It's 365 days a year that we will be talking about educating and motivating men and women on the importance of self-exams and mammograms to help detect any abnormalities. And so here at Southeastern Conference, we're committed to making sure that we provide a forum for women. So that's why we're doing Be Health. And we do know that we have the Breast Cancer Awareness Fund that has now been added to the tithe envelope on Adventist Given. And we have women that give consistently every single month mm -hmm. to that fund. Mm -hmm. And so that fund will be used for education, resources, um, support groups. Good. And I'm really excited about it. I am too. And I see God working in a great, mighty way through whatever way you know, we can help. I, I, I see him leading. And um, I, I, I'm just excited for it. I'm excited to see where it's going to take us. Great. So your survival your survival has now planted a seed for more women to learn about breast cancer it and how to, glory. Amen. <laughs> my, amen. and how to use their hands mm -hmm. to detect it and i would encourage any woman if you're over 40 40 or over get a mammogram or if you have a family history get a mammogram earlier do not wait Good. you know because sometimes we think oh i feel fine but if we just fill and make sure that we have no lumps, no bumps that maybe need to be examined more. <laughs> Kathleen, any last words that you would give to the audience? I would just say, um, echo the sediments of um, Dr. Sankey. You know, use your head, check yourself. If there's an issue, get help. It is a 100% curable disease uh, if it's caught early. And I've known people who had it in a later stage also and also survived so it is 100 in your hands pray to god trust in him he knows best for all of us 
and just don't forget to encourage each other, encourage the next woman to do exactly what you're doing that is check-in for a deadly disease. Thank you again, Kathleen. So to our audience, I would say thank you for joining BeHealth. We are committed to making sure that you get all the latest information about breast health. We don't want to talk about breast cancer, we'll talk about breast health. How do we stay well mentally, physically, and spiritually? Thank you again for joining us. Until next time, be healthy. Mm-hmm.